Hi, I'm Andreas Eriksson. I want to show you Oldsburg 7 c and what we do behind these doors. Follow me. It's a lot of work for transmission. So they're doing gearboxes ready and they're doing uh, uh, differentials ready in this room. So in this room they do electrics and they also do all the hoses. All the hoses and everything is lightweight and really special. We have uh, the printing room where we do all the, the, the wrapping for the cars. Three days a week the drivers are training in this room. So they are fit. I need to use it also, but I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> the room with engineers and they are working on a lot of new projects. This is the secret stuff. This is the future. A lot of technicians, they work here. They live in different countries and so on. So they have their own apartment so they can stay on work all the time. <laughs> this is the restaurant. I'm really particular with my with my crew, it's really important that they get the right food and the right breakfast, and, and it's more about showing that we really care, and, and it's important. The picture says more than a thousand words, and it's good for you to to know what what you've done in the past. Come on here. This is actually a car I uh, a friend of me borrowed, uh, so I never get it back. This is where I ended my wall rally career. I have the, the tree left, not the car. <laughs> we have some pictures of um, how everything started. All the Pax Peak adventure was what started the whole thing. Let's go and see, i actually restoring this Pax Peak car. We're rebuilding the Pax Peak car up again, exactly like it was, and this is the five-door version. People will recognize this car more than anything because it won X Games, it was second in Pax Peak, it won the first Rallycross race in America. So this car has a long history. <laughs> then we go into the workshop and uh, here we rebuild the cars. And a lot of guys working here, they have their own race cars and they, they really have this in the blood. To build a body like this ready is 400 hours of work, 70 meters of roll cage in it. So it's a lot of work and we will go downstairs and, and show exactly how much work it is to, to build a body like this ready. Okay, let's go down to the cellar. Every workshop in the world, it doesn't matter how good it's looking and how clean the floors are, it needs to be a cave somewhere. And this is our cave. What I mean with a cave is where we build everything. So, Coda here is doing a new uh, hub. So every little piece on the car that looks ready when it puts on the car is handmade. And that's why supercar is quite expensive. It's a lot of work to build a supercar. Then we come down to the body shells. And uh, as you see in here, we have one new body shell we, we are finishing up. When, it, when it's ready, the, the car is wider and it's lower and so on. So it's a lot of work to build a Fiesta. But sometimes the car gets really beaten up. We don't have a car in it now, but we have the dining room where we do a lot of engine testing. Something that really, really is important for a rallycross car is the tires and the rims. And a supercar with these tires is fast on the ice. You can almost go as fast as on, on gravel and, and tarmac. Now you've seen everything of OMC in, uh, in Sweden. We have basically used every single square meter to squeeze everything in and it's starting to get more and more tight here, but you know, so far when we send all the cars away again to work in Europe and America, and then, then, it, then it's back to normal here again. <laughs>